You know, that's going to be the story if, if, we're, uh, if we want to go deep. I mean, Freddie's got to stand on his head. He's got to be our backbone. And, uh, you know, we got all the faith in the world in, in him just uh, being able to do that. He's done it multiple times. So, uh, you know, we, we can rely on him. What have you seen from JT just in terms of his demeanor, how he's handled the attention and everything that comes with his signing? I expected no different, to be honest with you. I knew he was going to handle every situation like a pro. I mean, you know, JT's been in the spotlight for, for a long time, even, you know, coming up when he was, you know, 13, 14 years old. He was, uh, you know, he was the real deal then, too. So, you know, he got a lot of publicity. I think it, with that experience, it's helped him, um, you know, kind of have that mentality and just be good in front of the media and, and, and say the right things, and he's handled it uh, exceptionally well. Given all that publicity that he has, uh, how do you think you feel scoring in the first game, knowing that we're not going to ask him about, you know, how long to take it? Um, yeah, I'm sure it's a relief for him to get that first one. So, uh, you know, it's nice, just like the old days. I, uh, <laughs> you know, connected on another uh, play. It's usually me giving him the puck for, for him to finish, but uh, he's certainly got that scoring touch that's uh, very dangerous. Was there something Montreal was doing tonight that you guys didn't maybe control the puck as well as you'd like throughout that game? As a team? They worked. They worked. They, you got to give them all the credit in the world. They, uh, they were on top of guys. Um, you know, tracking back, their transition was quick. I mean, they uh, they worked, they worked hard. So uh, they were in the right places at the right times. You know, a couple uh, momentum swings throughout the game that Freddie hung us in there for. But at the end of the day, you just you know you need to play to uh, to win the game. And that's that's exactly what happened. And a team that's expected to win often transitionally. Is there a moral victory here in grinding out a victory the way you did tonight? That's yeah, not going to be perfect, especially early on. I mean, it's uh, you know throughout the preseason and early parts of the uh, the season in October, you know, it's a little bit sloppy and, you know, as the games roll on, you're going to see things tighten up. Obviously, you know, that's the same every single year. So we got a lot of work to do. We understand that. But, uh, you know, that, that, that's what the film's for and we'll just keep progressing. Would you and John have gone on the ice together in London at all? Or oh, yeah. Center? yeah. Yeah, yeah, we played together. He was on my wing. So, uh, yeah, we... Uh, um, yeah, he's he he was he had that scoring touch ever ever yeah. since then. We're on the power play together. We we loaded it up. So yeah, we, there's some uh, fami familiarity there. Austin said he worked on refining a shot, which was already pretty good in the off season. When you see him do what he did on the first one, what are you noticing? What makes his shot so deceptive? Just changes the angle. I mean, that's really what it, he, he's never, you know, as a as a defensive player, you know, when you're trying to block a shot, you get in the lane where where the puck is. But he seems to be able to drag and round feet and sticks and, and get that shot off so quickly. So I think that's, uh, you know, the, the, the deceptive part of it. And, and he's accurate, too, so that always helps. Is there a lot of communication between guys on working on your shot, or is it kind of like a solo thing? Uh, no, I mean, we all help each other. We all ask for uh, advice and kind of pick each other's brains. So it's, it's nice to have, you know, 23 pros in the room to be able to kind of put your heads together and, and figure out the best, uh, best solution. But, you know, guys like... Guys like that just have that natural ability to be able to, um, you know, find lanes, and that's that's a skill in itself.